Lake County's 1023 XLC. It's Tommy B. Good afternoon. Hope you're having a good day so far. I'm going to make it better because right now I have a special guest. You could see him every Sunday on the Food Network from Worst Cooks in America. He's a contestant from Highland Park. He's also a model and a dreamboat. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Ignafo. Tommy, hey. Hey, man. I should have called you Banana Hands. <laughs> You sound just like the rest of them. <laughs> I know, man. Well, so you are a model, Zach, and you're from Highland Park. Are you still living in Highland Park? I know. Right now I'm out on the East Coast and uh, spent most of my life, but my entire family still out in Highland Park. Oh, cool. So you still visit You still visit the Lake County area? Oh, yeah. Very frequently. I was there uh, for the first episode of the show uh, for my dad's big moment, as he likes to call it, because uh, he had one brief picture on the show, but now it's his show. <laughs> and that's how it goes, my family. <laughs> how did you get involved? Is it through modeling, or how, how long have you been a model? Let's start there. How did you get into modeling? So modeling is a fairly new gig for me. Uh, I was actually living out in Shanghai, China. Um, was walking down a university street. A guy pulls up in a van and goes, "Hey, we're going to modeling at a mall. You want to go?" That and, sounds like a uh, kidnapping. <laughs> yeah, usually that's how that would end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you said yes. You're down. Yeah, so so I got a couple jobs out in Shanghai, uh, just be, sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, from there, I got home to Chicago, started modeling around there. But the, the way I got into Worst Cook specifically was uh, I was actually getting scouted for The Bachelor. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, I made it through the auditioning process and... I just it just wasn't for me. I mean, being in down, living out in Chicago, going to East Bank Club or any of those gyms. Yeah, you notice the guys they were always taking their shirts off in the gym <laughs> taking pictures. Those were the guys from The Bachelor. I know you said on the show that you, you used to not always stay in shape. Oh yeah, so I was actually a, a center on my high school football team. Where did you go so to high I school? Was, uh, Highland Park High School. Oh my gosh, a center, man. You got to be beefy for that. I waited in a Husky 260. <laughs> I was the, I was slamming two Chipotle burritos every day for lunch. It was it was quite a trip, but you know, uh going into college, I was like I don't need any of this excess weight. Just lost it and unfortunately there there went all my eating ability as well. <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, here in quarantine, doing uh, convict calisthenics, it's called. Just a lot of handstand push-ups, one-arm push-ups, anything you can find a way to have fun around the house, just lifting yourself up. Well, you're doing good, man. I, I inspire to be you. Zach Ignafo, Banana Hands. Banana Hands. That's right. More with Zach Banana Hands next on 1023 XLC. Wrapping up your day with Tommy B. 1023 XLC, and he's still here joining me, Zach Ignafo. Worst Cooks in America. Let's talk about the show. Uh, man, how was it being a part of uh, Chef Ann Burrell's team? Chef Ann is one scary chef. Uh, but you know what? That's the tough love you need when you're in the kitchen, when there's fire, there's knives, there's all sorts of dangerous equipment around that I couldn't even tell you what it was. That kind of tough love will probably save a finger, too. Hey, man, speaking of knives, how's your knife work now that you did the show? And I know that's why they called you Banana Hands, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, before I got on the show, I had cut my thumb tendon. Uh, I had to get surgery, so the whole reason I went on this was to avoid any further medical bills. <laughs> uh, so now, you know, I'm chopping onions, I'm chopping garlic. If I'm at a restaurant, I'm like, you guys need help back there? Like, you feel kind of empowered when you have some uh, some kind of training from a celebrity chef like that. Yeah, man, you got, and you did good every time. I mean, up until now, we are still uh, a new episode. The upcoming episode is four contestants. You're one of the last two on Ann's team. And, uh, man, congratulations yep. on winning that uh, Chicago-style sausage sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> you the man, I, I, Zach. Yeah, I had to rep the hometown on that one. I just let the city, you know, go through me and let me create yeah, dude, I was I was rooting you on for that one. I uh, you are now the sausage king of Chicago, Zach. <laughs> I'll take it. The amount of guys that, that sent me that after was a little weird, but I will take that title. <laughs> oh man, well, well, what was your favorite challenge uh, through this? Did you like the thinking challenges more, or did you just how did you prepare for that too, man? Where was, was how crazy were those challenges for your mentals? You know that's high octane. It's they show you how to do something. Then they say for the next 30 minutes, 
you're cooking. Go. And not only do you have to remember exactly everything they did, you also have to put your own spin on it. Well, you did good, man. I, you yeah. did real good with that sausage, and I don't know that uh, I that, it. that casserole on the first episode. Well, that that one was a little interesting because they you, they they ask you what you want to make, and then they say, "Don't worry, we'll have a recipe and we'll have ingredients." And you show up, and uh, you know you don't know what anything is, and you don't know what's going on. So, and of course, the, the chefs are great teachers and everything. So it was uh, it was pretty easy to, to pick that up quickly. All right, man. Well, I got a couple weird questions for you now. Um, so, uh, so do you want to be a model or a chef now after doing the show? Which one would you pick? This or that? Why pick? Why would I pick? I could be the first of both. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. The cover I of mean, GQ. Being a chef, I would say I have to be a chef. You, the perks got to be so much better. So, do you run on any beaches in Lake County um, when you come visit your parents? That's another creepy question. <laughs> Well, I don't want to give somebody my pinpoint location after that, but uh, <laughs> I'm saying North Street Beach. <laughs> Enough said. Oh, North Street Beach. Perfect. We won't be looking for you there. Amazing, yeah. How's Evan doing? He was one of my favorites, man. How's uh? Are you keeping in contact with anybody from the show? I, I keep in contact with everybody. Evan was just saying to me yesterday how he wishes he cried more. Maybe he'd be last longer on the show. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, and, and you know, we were talking, Darian, me and Darian have a little bit of a rivalry going on on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, anytime you go head to head with the Super Bowl champ and you could beat him, I always use the opportunity to talk a little smack. Because how often can you say you do that? <laughs> Never. Looking forward to finishing off the season this Sunday, man. Eat your heart out. Uh, Absolutely. You got- where can we find you on Instagram? We got to keep up with that battle and uh, where you're going next. Yeah, absolutely. Instagram's at Zach.Ignafo. Uh, I-G-N-O, F is in Frank, F is in Frank O. Uh, and, yeah, the, the rivalry will continue. We got top four. One one week left after that. It's going to be a great episode. We, uh, we're we cooking for some, uh, some special people this week. Dude, you're my favorite part of the show, and you're a great guy from Highland Park. Banana hands, Zach Ignafo. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Good talk to you, man. Have a good day, dude. Thanks, Zach. All right. You too. Bye.